this man finally decided to cash out four to five years of saving pennies. Arthur Anders had one of the oddest hobbies ever. He had been picking pennies up off the street for four to five long years. One day after years of filling up jars with all sorts of pennies, he finally decided it was time to cash in on his findings. As he wheeled a dolly to the bank, filled with water jugs full of pennies, everyone stared at him, some in admiration, sometimes in disgust. Who would bring water jugs filled with pennies to a bank? They had no idea about the small fortune he was about to walk out of the bank with, a small fortune stacked in water jugs. Even Atha didn't have the faintest idea on how much he had. He was about to find out, just like everybody else there. When Atha walked in the bank and headed to the register, the banker just stared at Atha, not entirely sure what to do. He simply asked how many are there. Atha had no idea. He'd been collecting them for over four decades, but never had the time to count them. Atha was a 73-year-old family man who had a stable and happy family with a loving wife and children who supported him in every venture. He worked on the Jackson School Board, watching over the children who found themselves in a bit of trouble with in-school suspension. He had a happy life, and he loved every part of it, even the hobbies that seemed a little quirky to other people. Picking up pennies off the street had gone from being a little something fun to being a fully-fledged obsessive hobby. He just loved finding the little coins lying on the ground and enjoyed the sound of pennies mixing up in the glass jug. To Mim, it was a reminder to always be thankful for what he had in his life, things we often take for granted, like the roof on our head, warmth in bed and food on the table. During an interview, Arthur explained his hobby, saying, I became convinced that spotting a lost or dropped penny was an additional God-given incentive reminding me to always be thankful. There have been days where I failed to pray and more often than not, a lost or dropped penny would show up to remind me. He had always been a very religious man, but his faith had reached an all-time high in recent years. He believed each penny he found on the ground was a gift from God. When Atha picked up his first penny off the ground, he had no idea that it would be a habit that would follow him for another four to five years, one that was going to make him a small fortune even if it's after four decades. Arthur would just pick whatever penny he found on the ground. Not only that, but he stopped spending his own pennies that would come to him in the form of change. Every penny was saved. Everything went straight into his collection. Whenever Arthur purchased something at the store with cash, he made sure the cashier returned his change with at least three to four pennies. The more, the merrier, and he wanted his collection to grow bigger. The penny-saving thing quickly became a quirky habit that stuck with him and helped his penny collection grow throughout the years to be one of the most impressive penny collections ever seen. It became such a normal occurrence that Arthur's friends and family didn't even question it and comment on it anymore. They just knew that if Arthur was buying something to expect some pennies to come out of the equation. During an interview, Arthur discussed his penny obsession, saying, I would never spend a penny. I would break a dollar before giving up a penny. Arthur was really obsessed with his pennies. When the school found out about his quirky hobby, more than one person wanted to help. When Arthur's students found out he collected pennies, they wanted to help. Kids would come up to him with handfuls of pennies, offering them to his growing pile. Of course, Arthur took none. According to him, he had rules and some principles when it came to his penny collection. Whenever Arthur's students came to him with pennies, he would refuse them, or at least not take them right away. According to Atha, I never allowed anyone, not even my wife nor children, to give me pennies without being compensated. So, it sounds like he actually paid people who gave him pennies. Between the pennies he found on the ground, the change, and the pennies people gave him to help add to his collection, Atha's penny pile kept growing. After four to five years of piling up pennies, he had filled to the rim 15 5-gallon water jugs. With that amount of pennies, he could only guess that there were maybe hundreds of thousands of coins. And that was a rough estimation, as he had no idea how much there actually were. Arthur was planning on filling many more if he had his way. The universe, however, decided otherwise. Arthur believed that he had collected quite a sum, and he wanted to put it all for his home insurance. 
author remembered reading a story about someone who cashed in on their coin collection, coins that were a mixture of pennies and dimes and quarters, that ended up getting him a small fortune. He was hoping it would be the case for him too. If Arthur took the time to go through each penny of those 15 5-gallon water jugs, he might have found some very rare gems hidden amongst all the pennies, such as the 1943's Lincoln Wheat Penny, that would get him a real, not just small fortune. Arthur's collection had the potential of increasing in worth if it was handed down through the generations. Unfortunately, he wasn't going to have that luxury. He had a huge number of coins, and there was no way he could go through all of them at once. Even though he didn't have the luxury of looking through his 15 jugs for rare pennies, he still had the small fortune the pennies he had amassed throughout those four to five years were going to make him once cashed. He now had to figure out how to actually get them to the bank. Fifteen jugs filled with pennies weren't exactly easy to carry. Thankfully, he had good friends to help him. After Atha and his friends got the fifteen water jugs into a truck, he was finally on his way to the bank, where he could finally get the moment of truth he would then know how much his little fortune was worth. It was now only a matter of unloading the pennies onto a dolly and wheeling them into the bank to be counted out. Rolling the dolly into the bank with the 15 5-gallon water jugs full of pennies, Arthur got a lot of odd looks, especially from the banker, who was going to help him count his savings. Not entirely sure she was going to turn him away, Arthur was pleasantly surprised when she asked, How many? The lady stood there, not entirely sure what to do. When she asked Arthur how many pennies he willed in, she was shocked when he said, I would guesstimate about half a million pennies. Half a million. With half a million pennies sitting in front of her, the vice president's answer of, and you think we have the time to count half a million pennies for you, was kind of warranted. Who would ever have the time to count half a million pennies when there were a lot of other things to do on the workday? not knowing what to do in the situation or what to answer for that matter. Atha just laughed along with her. After a minute of silence, he told a banker, I know it's a crazy amount, but this is a dear collection of mine that I need to cash out. Believe me, if I had it my way, I'd keep these pennies forever. The banker didn't turn Atha away. Instead, she called over her manager to see if there was anything they could do for Atha and his penny collection. He had quite an amount of money, and it'd be sad to let him go with nothing after all the trouble he took in getting them there, let alone piling them for four whole decades. Ironically, when the manager walked out to see what was going on, his face lit up, as he knew Arthur very well. It turned out that Arthur was a long and loyal customer of that particular bank branch, and the manager was more than happy to help him count out his collection and cash out his huge stack of pennies. We value his business as we do all of our customers," the manager said. But if we can help Anders with his endeavors, we are happy to do so. The bank was obviously not going to hand, count the half a million pennies by hand. They led Atha and his friends over to the coin counting machine. Atha needed a solid five hours to feed each of the pennies into the machine. After five hours of putting pennies into the coin counting machine penny by penny, a final sum flashed on the screen. After picking up pennies from the ground for four to five years, Arthur had saved a grand total of $5,136.14, which equates to a saving of $114.14 per year. When you think of it, it's quite some money for pennies that were a mere afterthought for most people. Arthur knew just what he wanted to do with savings too. After paying off a hefty dental bill that had just been handed to him, Arthur took his family on a nice vacation for long-lasting memories. As he was a man of faith too, he also donated some of the money to his local church, 